And hello, Rotten Fam! <laughs> You're taking over! <laughs> Welcome back to our weekly routine. And welcome to the second episode of our Pride Month Special. So for this afternoon, we ba recap lang last week. Kami nag-usapan natin ay reproductive health rights with she decides. This afternoon, we're going to be talking about HIV, HIV awareness with Aura Safely. So ano ba tong HIV or itong tinatawag natin na human immunodeficiency virus. So, itong HIV na to, it's a fast-growing virus. And yung Pilipinas ay isa sa may pinakamataas na growth rate ng HIV. Napakarami nating cases na to. Pero hindi ito masyadong pinag-uusapan sa media. Hindi ito pinagtutuunan ng sapat na pansin. Yan, gano'n ba karami ang cases sa Philippines? According to a 2018 report by UNAIDS, sa Pilipinas daw, ay merong 77,000 people living with HIV or PLHIV. Pero of these 77,000, 62,029 lang yung diagnose. Ngayon, kung ibe-break down itong number of cases of people living with HIV sa Philippines, base sa age group nila, 80% nitong PLHIV ay from younger age group. Sa age group na 15 to 24, more than 19,000 ang cases ng HIV. Sa age group naman na 25 to 34, meron tayong 34,500 people na nag-positive for HIV. So nakikita natin kung gaano kahalaga na palalimin or palawakin yung diskusyon tungkol sa HIV. Kasi isa tong virus na naapektuhan tayo. Di ba? Kaya nararapat lang na mag tayo ng awareness tungkol dito. So this afternoon, kasama namin ang Aura Safely okay, para tulungan tayo na mas maintindihan kung ano ba yung HIV, paano ba tayo pwedeng mahawa nito, and paano siya pwedeng iwasan. So... Let's go! Ito. Hi guys! Kasama namin ngayon si Joven and si Hershey from Aura Safely. Hello! Hello! Okay lang ba na introduce nyo yung Aura Safely and kung ano yung role nyo dun sa organization? Hi guys! So, ako si Joven. Siguro we can call, ano ba Hershey? Parang I can call myself co-founder of Aura Safely. So, and then you are? I'm Hershey! I'm Joven's co-founder! <laughs> <laughs> So, yeah, so basically, Aura Safely is, it's an online platform. It's, it's a sex-positive platform for sex-positive Filipinos. Basically, what, what it does is it brings close to people their choices sa safe sex. So, parang lahat ng choices nila kung saan sila pwedeng kumuha ng free condoms, lubricants, tapos kung saan sila pwedeng magpa-HIV testing, HIV treatment. So, that's a website. And then, we also have social media accounts. Diba, Hershey? Tama. And we wanted to emphasize on fun kasi usually, diba, when, when we talk about HIV, when we talk about AIDS, Lagi siyang nasa scientific part and we wanted it to be more relatable to the youth, to tayong mga millennials and Gen Z. We want the generation to relate to them. So, kaya yung, yung mga posts namin, sobrang, so, nag-ride kami sa mga memes. Diba nga yung quarantine, meron kaming quarantigang tip. <laughs> how to be safe during the pandemic, diba? So, we want na parang very comfortable lang and very safe yung space na to. Aww. Yeah, and also, uh, yung pinakagusto namin talaga dun is for it to be sex positive. Kasi parang for the longest time, Filipinos, parang we don't talk about sex. And if, if we know na parang probably the reason why stigmatized yung HIV, yung testing for STIs, that's probably because we don't talk about sex. So we want to have a platform where we talk about sex freely. Parang gata. Yun lang siya. So that's our safety. You. Joven, sabi nila quick introduction ng haba ng sinabi natin. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> yeah. Pero sobrang so, relatable and sobrang uh, gets agad yung ano. Yung branding uh, nila. Na hindi nga siya intimidating. Mm. So yung first, ano yung HIV? So ano yung difference niya sa ibang viruses? Ano yung difference niya with AIDS? Mm -hmm. Thank you for that question. <laughs> Sorry, can I just say, wait lang, may planchahan pala sa likod. So, <laughs> yung kabayo, girl, andun. Uh, when a person has HIV, it doesn't necessarily mean na may AIDS siya. 
So kapag yung immune system ng taong may HIV nag-weaken, saka siya maaaring magkaroon ng AIDS. So let's remember that HIV is not a death sentence. And if a person has HIV, that doesn't mean that a person will have AIDS. As long as they take their medications regularly, they will live up a, a regular life. Parang HIV is the virus. Kung, baga, kung sa COVID, siya yung coronavirus. So HIV means human immunodeficiency virus. As long as you take your meds nga, hindi ka magkakaid. So parang recap, HIV and AIDS magkaiba siya. Pag may HIV ka, hindi necessarily na may AIDS ka na. Or magkaka-AIDS ka na. Kasi may medication available. So, meron ba kayong parang idea dun sa statistics natin ngayon? For the Philippines, for example. Kung gano'n na harami yung cases. Yeah, meron naman tayo. So, pero kasi, this is as of August last year pa. Because yung reporting, medyo meron tayong delays on, on recording. As of August 2019, we have 36 people na nagpa-positive for HIV every day. Every so day? Yeah, every day. Okay. So, it's like a classroom. Diba? Parang isang classroom na nagpa-positive. Tapos, just in August, in that month, 1,228 ang newly newly confirmed na HIV positive. Uh, parang roughly 11 years ago, nandun tayo sa mga isang case lang ng HIV per day, parang ganun. Tapos, fast forward 2011, parang 7 cases a day. Ngayon, 36 cases a day. Continues to increase. Parang ganun. Hindi siya talaga nag-ano, diba? Kung baga sa COVID, kung pinaflatten yung curve sa HIV din. Parang ganun siya. Pataas pa rin siya ng pataas. And majority of the new cases ay sexually transmitted. Next question namin, paano siya natatrans or paano ka pwedeng mahawa ng HIV? Kasi di ba parang may naririnig din ako before, parang share ko lang, nung hindi pa ako fully informed about mm. HIV, na meron daw uso dati na randomly may magtutusok sa'yo ng karayom na tinusok sa may HIV or may AIDS, tapos automatically daw mahawa ka na. Parang may mga ganun, yung, naririnig rin ko yung, lang ng high school. <laughs> Di ba GM yan? <laughs> <laughs> Oo, GM yun. May story daw, may lalaki sa Kiyapo. Oh, tapos Kiyapo. nagtutusok ko ng ano, tapos may letter na welcome to the world of AIDS. Oo, oh, 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 ayun. Na GM din pala yeah. siya. <laughs> <laughs> so, yun nga, diba? From early on, may stigma na talaga ang HIV and AIDS before. So, th that's why Aura Safely is here and we want to end the stigma. HIV can be transmitted in the following ways. One is through vaginal... Vaginal fluid. <laughs> vaginal... <laughs> Ito na naman ako sa vagina! <laughs> <laughs> Second is through sperm. Third is through blood transfusion, and fourth is through breastfeeding, through the breast milk of a mother. Kumbaga, so y yung apat lang na yun, so marami kasing misconceptions about how to get it. Actually, parang just last year, may, may umano nga eh, may kumalat din sa Facebook na parang, oh, sa Cebu may nagtapo ng syringe from a hospital mm -hmm. na may HIV positive blood. So wala mo nakakain ng isda kasi magkaka-HIV ka, yeah! parang gano'n. So, parang sobrang layo niya sa realidad, di ba? Kasi nga, HIV can only be transmitted through, yun nga, semen. Kung baga sa Tagalog, it's tamod. Pangalawa, sa vaginal fluid. Pangatlo, sa dugo. And pangapat, sa breast milk. Other than that, wala. Sa pawis, sa, sa laway, hindi siya. Kahit na kumain ka nung isda na nakakain ng may dugo ng HIV positive, hindi ka magkakaroon ng HIV unless siguro isda ka rin. <laughs> so, yun nga yung mediums, di ba? Yun yung mga fluids. And then, it can be transmitted through oral sex through penetration and through sharing needles. So yun lang siya. Yung mga mga rumors na pag nagpapamanipedi or yung turok-turok na ganun, that's not true. Pag siya yeah. blood transfusion ba? Kahit na ano lang, patak? Or merong amount na needed para malipat sa'yo yung virus? Medyo magiging technical siya, pero definitely there's an amount needed. Yung so, sa blood transmission niya, usually ito yung mga people na nagsishare ng needles when using injecting drugs yung mga ganon o kaya halimbawa yung sa mga halimbawa kung pumunta ka sa parlor tapos nagpa IV ka ng luta tayo hindi mo alam kung kanino ginamit yung karayom na yun definitely there's a risk on that and there's a parang certain amount needed pero of course in the first place dapat naman talaga sanitize lahat and the same goes for ano 
kunyari sa tabod or sa vaginal fluid, pagka ba na-expose ka, immediately mm-hmm. mahahawa ka or meron ding certain amount ba before? So, merong certain amount, of course, pero ang pinaka-key dito is to prevent. To prevent from from you being exposed to that risk. Meron tayong mga ways to prevent. Of course, we know na na parang for us to prevent those sexual fluid, vaginal fluid, and then the tamod para hindi hindi mo siya, hindi ka ma-expose doon is mag-gumamit ka ng condoms. Condoms all the time. Even if even if parang regular partner mo na siya, you, ha- you still have to use condoms. Pinapromote talaga namin yung pag-use ng lubricants with condoms kasi maiiwasan niya yung pagkat pagkasira ng cotton domes when you're using. Prevention is always better than cure. So you have to be safe all the time. So so that's one. You you always have to use condoms and lubricants. So but, but meron din tayo ngayon since modern na tayo. Meron tayong tinatawag na PrEP, pre-exposure prophylaxis. So ito ay sobrang uso na to sa ibang bansa. Basically, it's a daily pill that you take every day to make sure na hindi ka mahahawa ng HIV from other people. Hindi siya free, unfortunately, pero maraming organizations na nag-offer sa akin. <laughs> so, yeah. So, tapos yung ano, yung isa pa, di ba, Hirsch, we always for- forget kasi we're, we're all sex positive, pero we forget that abstinence is still a choice. Di ba, Hirsch? So, <laughs> yun nga. So, parang, if you choose not to have sex, that's fine. You know, parang it's a choice. It's one of your choices. Let's just not tell people to not have sex. Magse sex sila, whether we like it or not. So if if they decide to have sex, okay, let's provide condoms. Sorry, kapalang ulit yung four ways. Pero kapal ka ba? Akala ko na nakalimutan. Go. So first is vaginal fluid. Next, semen or tamod. Third is blood. And fourth is breastfeeding or yung breast milk. So yung next question naman, saan pwedeng magpatest for HIV? Hmm. Libre lang ba or meron bang bayad? Okay, so if you actually go to Aura Safely's Instagram page, meron tayong mga highlights doon. So nakalagay doon may Metro Manila, Luzon, Visayas, Mindanao. And naka-consolidate lahat ng information na yun sa Aura Safely. So yes, libre po ang testing. A lot of people kasi parang they're hesitant to get tested kasi oy baka mahal. But no, it's really free kasi HIV is an epidemic kaya the government also realizes no how important it is na bigyan ng free testing ang mga tao. So, meron po tayo mga social hygiene clinic. Nakalagay po dun sa Aura Safely. Tsaka, meron din tayo mga private institutions. Like, for example, Love Yourself. Meron po silang mga volunteers driven na community-based testing. So, pwede rin doon. So, yes, free lahat. Just go to Aura Safely on Instagram. If you want to get an appointment rin, meron din po tayo sa aurasafely.ph. Meron po doong uh, Google Docs na pwede mong ifilapan. And don't worry, we will keep everything private. You don't even have to write your name. Parang meron lang doong code. For example, first two letters of your mother's name, date the first two numbers of ganito. Para lang meron kang unique code. So, you're sure na protected yung identity mo. Kasi it's a safe space. Yeah, so if, if hindi nila makita kung saan, they, they can just always message us sa Facebook, Twitter, Instagram and then we will just ask them how to find them. Open pa rin this quarantine ang social hygiene clinics. Marami pa rin po tayong mga health workers working. But if you prefer na you don't want to leave the house, it's also an option yung self-testing but um we do not really recommend self-testing kasi what if a person turns out to be positive, dapat may counseling yan. Ang proper way of testing a person is may pre-counseling, testing, and then post-counseling. Um, yes, it is an option, but we still recommend na you do it with an HIV counselor. Ang danger kasi dun, di ba? Kapag ka, halimbawa, ikaw, very emotionally vulnerable ka. Nag-test ka. Eh, what if you're positive? sa so, tatambling ka na nang parang gano'n, nobody will talk to you about it, parang gano'n. So, tapos hindi rin natin alam kung effective ba yung mga nabibili sa Lazada, sa shop. So, anyway, free lang naman siya, sabi ni Hershey. So, just just message us and that will help you get tested. Parang na number four is, how is it treated? So, paano ba nagagamot yung HIV? Gayon, when we say gamot, ang inexpect natin is cure, as in totally mawawala yung HIV sa katawan. Wala pa. Wala pa na discover although may ibang cases na gumagaling sila ng HIV, pero wala pa talaga. Pero ang meron ngayon is treatment ng HIV. So meron tayong tinatawag na antiretroviral treatment na ART. Pill din to na everyday mong iinumin dapat. Tapos ang ginagawa niya sa katawan mo is kasi nga di ba yung HIV, yung virus, nagre-replicate siya sa loob ng katawan. So pag iniinom mo to daily, ini-stop niya yon na mag-replicate sa katawan. Mo. So kapag ini-stop niya yon, hindi niya na mapapahina yung immune system. 
So if you take that pill every day, within a year, para magiging undetectable na yung levels ng virus sa blood mo. At kapag undetectable ka na, hindi mo na mapapasa yung virus. Yun yung tinatawag na, namin na U equals U. Undetectable is equal to untransmittable. But it doesn't mean you won't protect other people na. Of course, we always say na you have to use condoms and do all the time. This pill, nakukuha din siya, binibigay din siya ng government natin for free. It's the time na dapat wala nang namamatay sa AIDS kasi free naman yung gamot eh. Nabibigay naman siya ng government. It's only a matter of accessing it. So yung Aura Safely, just go to our Instagram, may Twitter din tayo at saka Facebook. And then message lang kayo, for example, ah, located ako in Valenzuela, saan ba pwede magpa-test, saan pwede magpa-treat. And then we can help you guys out. Question lang, pagka-undetectable ka na, does it mean na uh, pwede ka nang tumigil uminom ng ARV? Oo, it's lifelong. Lifelong talaga siya. So everyday, everyday mo siya dapat inumin. Dap- dapat may routine talaga siya. Last question, paano natin matutulungan yung friends natin na HIV positive? Okay, so first of course is providing a safe space for people living with HIV. A space na free of judgment. A space where they are free to talk about anything, yung challenges nila. Actually, community to eh. Kung makikita mo, very supportive ang people living with HIV sa isa't isa. And that's why, yung Aura Safely din, no? Maraming nag-DM sa Aura Safely. Sometimes looking for advice, for for answers. And then, nilalaplayan sila ni Joven. Char! <laughs> <laughs> so just message Aura safely and then we can direct you also to different HIV counselors na near your location. And as a friend, ano, you just give them a lending ear. Give them an ear that can listen to their to their challenges, to their struggles. And of course, since we all have a voice, let's end discrimination. When we talk about HIV, we talk about it as a disease. Hindi siya dapat kinakatakutan ng mga tao. Kasi bakit normal lang magpa-test for diabetes? Normal lang magpa-test for cancer? But people don't have the same openness to testing for HIV. I-encourage lang natin yung mga tao na maging sex positive. Kasi kung, kung hindi tayo sex positive, all the more na yung mga tao, they're going to discover their bodies by themselves, discover sex by themselves without being properly educated. Ano ba ang right ways to have sex? Lagi mo tatandaan, someone's HIV status is not your business. Hindi mo siya dapat pag-usapan unless that person tells you na ito yung status niya. Hindi mo rin siya pwedeng i-discriminate, sabi nga ni Hershey. No one can discriminate based on their HIV status. At hindi mo rin pwedeng ipagkalat kung halimbawa sa nanay mo, ay mga si ganyan. Kasi makukulong ka. Meron na tayong RA11166. Ano lang siya, parang protection for the PLHIV community na hindi sila ma-discriminate based on their status. And, and adding to you, Joven, <laughs> pahaba ng pahaba na, longest line. <laughs> adding to jo- what Joven said nga, no, meron po tayong batas na pinaprotect ang people living with HIV. So kung may kilala po tayo na person living with HIV na na-discriminate sa school or sa work dahil sa kanilang status, pwede po tayong mag-file ng case against that. So kailangan po nating malaman ng ating mga karapatan. We, we just always have to fight for a safe space for our fellow Filipinos. And also, you know, they they can all always, ano di ba? Parang message us, Hirsch, because we we also know friends who can facilitate filing cases. So, may mga natulungan yung mga friends namin about that. Magmessage lang sila don. Wag lang sila mangungutang sa min sa oras niya. Kasi wala <laughs> ibang papa utang. <laughs> Pero yun. Yeah. Be a uh, ano? Be their ally when they are being discriminated. Kahit nandun sila sa room or wala. When someone talks shit about, ay sorry, pwede ba? When someone talks shit about the HIV, break the stigma. Tell them na HIV is not a death sentence. Tell them na HIV testing is fine. Kasi sa pamamagitan na nagiging maganda tayong alay sa kanila. And to add to that, oh, ba? Di pa rin ko. Um, kung meron tayong friend na gustong magpa-HIV testing pero takot siya, samahan natin. Iparamdam natin na hindi tayo dapat matakot sa pagtetest. So, sasamahan kita. Walang stigma dito. Walang nothing to be ashamed of. Punta po tayo. Punta po kayo sa Aura Safe Fleet and then book an appointment. Nagsa-stutter ako kasi kinakabahan ako. <laughs> kasi ang dami ng content people, di ba? Pero oh my God, may mga rotins. <laughs> Baka nag-judge nila ako. <laughs> Baka mabash kami. <laughs> 
bakit kayo in- na bilang naging interested sa paggawa ng video na ito? Like what's the story? Oh, nag-interview. Ito okay. <laughs> talaga yung show niyo na to. <laughs> Ay, well, yung sa HIV, kasi nag-isip kami before nung Pride, kasi namin, i-raise yung awareness about different advocates. And ito nga yung mga advocates na napili namin na malapit din sa. So, ito yung mga, we think, kailangan marinig. Yung mga very young viewers na. Very nice stand. Yeah. I think followers. I love, love Rotten. <laughs> I think follower nyo yung ano, may nag-message sa amin or nag-tweet sa amin dati na parang because of Aura Safely, may nasasagot na siya sa school da- ah, kapag uh, oh, oh, oh. parang actually natuwa kami ni Hershey dito kasi parang meron kami na-achieve ni Hershey. Oh. <laughs> ang rotin nga po pala ay ang aming ambassadors, ang Aura Safely ambassadors namin. Aura! Yes. <laughs> sa akin din! Wow. Safely! Oh. Sa akin din! <laughs> yung mahiwagang pipi, no? Ah! Uh, okay. <laughs> and meron ba kayong upcoming events? May gusto ba kayong i-promote? Hershey, ito na yung time mo sa yoga. Yoga. <laughs> 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 okay. okay. So, if you want to help the PLHIV or the people living with HIV community, pwede po tayong mag-donate sa Aid Society of the Philippines. Nagbibigay po sila ng financial support sa mga health workers na may HIV. So, sila po yung mga frontliners sa mga clinics na may HIV rin. And sila po ay sobrang vulnerable kasi when you are a person living with HIV, yung immune system mo, mahina na talaga. Given na may pandemic na ito, they need all the support they could get. Kaya we're really supporting yung mga frontliners with HIV and also yung mga mothers and children living with HIV. And Aid Society of the Philippines is also having a fundraiser naman for trans women. So if you also want to support, please go to their Twitter, Aid Society of the Philippines. We also support kay Red Whistle. Si Red Whistle naman ay nagagather ng mga volunteers kasi diba nga yung quarantine mahirap pa rin po yung tra- transportation. So, kapag may kotse po kayo na gusto po mag-volunteer na mag-deliver ng mga ARV or ng mga life-saving medicines sa people living with HIV, please volunteer. And of course, we want you guys to follow us, Aura Safety, <laughs> sa Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. It's Aura Safely. A-W-R-A Safely. Aura, Aura. not Aura. Aura. <laughs> Mga ano tayo, geologs tayo dito. Hindi <laughs> Aura. Aura. Thank you so much. Thank you so Yay. much. Yay! Thank you. Pwede naman tayo. Ah, sige. Pwede ba, pwede ba i-post or bawal ba? Pwede. pwede. Saka ayaw mo talaga pwede. i-promote yung ano? Yoga mat. Yoga mat. Okay. <laughs> talaga sa so, ba? Pwede ba? Ah, Oo. Oh, oh. <laughs> What? Hi guys! Hindi mo kaim shy. Okay guys, let's go. Ay, I'm ready pa lang. Pero lagi natin yung inhuman session with our team.